Tony D and Little Joan with Screenwriter's Rant on Paint, uh, a movie about, basically it's a version of Bob Ross played by Owen Wilson, and uh, what if Bob Ross, I don't know, had a rival, and then it ruined his life and he fell apart. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Yeah, I don't know, man. It, it, I, I thought this was going to be a wacky comedy. Instead, it looks, looks like it's going to be sad. You know? It's not really about Bob Ross, I don't think. It's from IFC. So I think it's going to be weird and quirky. Let's see what it says. Uh, Owen Wilson stars as Carl Nargle. Vermont's number one public TV painter who's convinced he has it all. A signature perm, a custom van, fans hanging on his every stroke until a younger, better artist steals everything and everyone Carl loves. Sounds kind of sad. <laughs> and I like Bob Ross. Everybody likes Bob Ross. Why would you make him the, the kind of negative energy in the movie? It seems weird. All right, so what's it going to be? Well, it's a pretty easy breakdown, right? First act. He's, he's going along great. He's the top of his game. Maybe you see a little bit of what's to come, but he's at the top. And then the next thing you know, they bring in the new girl. Uh, she's an instant hit. Um, people start talking about him retiring. He starts losing endorsements or whatever. Start loses a bunch of fans. Um, his life starts to fall apart. Uh, all through the second act, it slowly falls apart. And then the third act, I don't know, he gets divorced. It looks like he gets remarried. And, uh, I don't know, it breaks him? It, it looks sad. It looks sad. It, it, to me, this should have been a wacky, funny movie. This should have been a hilarious movie starring Owen Wilson about another version of Bob Ross who was a bit of a maniac. Right? should have been more like Kingpin. Right? The Bob Ross maybe is a total maniac because look if you're gonna not do bob ross if you're not doing the bob ross you know dramatization of his life which i don't know if there's even enough there to do a two-hour movie about bob ross i don't know much about him other than everybody likes him then uh yeah i would have been interested in this movie if it was a crazy comedy right it's a crazy comedy he gets driven out of the profession or driven off his TV show and comes up with an elaborate plan to get back. And and then the person who drove him out of paint is actually a really worse person. And then he comes up with this crazy scheme. Or maybe they're all bad. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters in a comedy is that it's funny, right? Um, so he comes up with an elaborate plan and maybe they both destroy each other and a third person comes in and they end up in a completely, I don't know, different thing. They, they go through trial and tribulation, you know, and instead of being the kings of TV paint, the, the two combine together to become something completely different, but they're happy. Like at the end, everybody's happy in a comedy. It's unless the person is just total scum, I guess. So this just looks sad and quirky and weird. You know, it doesn't look poorly produced. I don't want to see Owen Wilson moping around the screen. I, I especially, I, if he's moping in the beginning and then by the end he's happy, that I I don't mind seeing because then it's a journey how the character makes himself happy. I want to see the guy become happy at the end. I don't want to. I don't want to walk out of the theater. Oh, that that was depressing. Or it's probably not going to be in theaters. It's probably going to be on IFC. I I want to like get to the end of the movie and be like, oh, that was pretty good. So he could be in a terrible position in the beginning of the movie. You could do it that way. Could be the rise of Bob Ross, right? Like there's some other guy who's the painter and he's an a-hole. He's a ruthless a-hole. And, and, but Bob is just this wonderful, wonderful guy. It's not Bob, but this character, he's just a wonderful guy. And for some reason, like that people are always after him and he's just this innocent person that everybody rallies around to protect. That could be a fun thing. It'd be funny. 
This just doesn't look funny. It, it looks kind of sad. Okay, his life falls apart. And then what? Does he does he get it back? It looks like he does. It. And it looks like it takes place in the, I don't know, late 70s, early 80s maybe. So, what what is this? What is this for? Who is this for? So you bring in the Bob Ross guys. Okay, that, that would be a significant part of the internet. But then it's sad. They don't want to see Bob Ross sad. I don't think so. I asked the Bob Ross guys, you want to see Bob Ross like lose everything and be sad? I think the answer would be like, hell no. Hell no, we want to see Bob Ross come back to life <laughs> and win everything. The goodwill from Bob Ross would carry this movie. But I don't think they're using that. Now that's just based on the trailer. Maybe it's a different movie. Maybe they're not showing me enough, but the woman who replaces them, I think it's Rosaria Dawson? Uh, she's not in the credits, so I guess it's not her. It looks kind of looks like her. She looks boring. I mean, it's like if it was Kingpin, it would be this ridiculously big crazy person right it said it's gonna it's gonna be try it's, it's trying too hard to be low stakes if you're doing comedy it's got to be bigger if you're doing something quirky it's got to be more realistic and throwing bob ross the bob ross aesthetic here i think i think that's a mistake then if you had not done the bob ross thing that might work because then people could say, oh, is this a real thing? Did this really happen? And you'd want that. We know it didn't happen because this is Bob Ross's look. This is a obviously AstroTurf, I think. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with comedy. You need to go big or go home. And it's a shame you got Owen Wilson here. And he's usually pretty good in a comedy. So, I say no to paint. Uh, when's it come out? Eh, I don't know. Probably in the next couple of months. I'm going to guess spring. It'll probably come and go. As they say. Owen Wilson, Michaela Watkins, Wendy McLendon Covey, and Clara Renee. I don't know any anybody but Owen. All right. That's it for me, Joni D. And Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. I will be at the Defert Public Library in a few hours. Uh, 7 o'clock to do my talk on the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. And we'll see you tomorrow.